right guys as you can see we're at the river sorry it's a little windy out but we're gonna run you through how to make some set lines today as you can see we've already made a couple we're gonna try to go down in some of these holes and stuff throw some set lines hopefully get some big old catfish so what i like to do at the beginning get a bunch of these big rubber bands advantage rubber bands i don't know i don't know how you judge rubber bands but you can see about how thick they are kind of like these typically i take about four or five like that you'll slide it up over this and the reason to use these rubber bands like this if a fish is on the end right here well a fish wouldn't be right here if a fish is on it it'll kind of stretch that way it kind of gives it that give where the hook can't rip out of the fish's mouth it just kind of acts as like a little i don't know kind of like a soft point like a drag i guess you could say typically that helps a lot especially with these big fish so like this take your line gonna wrap it around as far as knots and stuff typically i always go with the polymer knot but ain't gonna be able to do it with this string you want to leave enough line on the end like this that way you can tie a safety string back to this in case the rubber bands do break i'll show you that here in a second so basically i'm just going to tie a bunch of knots in a row just kind of like that leave enough area right here that you can tie back around as a safety string and i'll show you that tie about four or five knots so i'll tie that sorry it's really windy out here as you guys can probably tell all right so then you got that this is what you're going to use as your safety line so you're going to actually tie this around here by itself to kind of act like a safety line and then you're going to tie that three or four times also of course right as i'm talking it gets all windy all right so as you guys can kind of see when this gets pulled it'll pull on this that'll kind of give it some of that give and then you have your safety line in case this breaks typically i like this line to be a little longer so it's not taking some give with this but it's just enough this will pull and it'll use the rubber band to kind of give it some give so there's not so much tension right on the hook or right on this pole where it were to snap so we're gonna keep making some of these like this and then we're gonna we're gonna go up here a little bit around this bend typically what we like to look for it's kind of like those overhanging branches and stuff for the flatheads let's go put them out what do you say yes sir So what we're gonna try to do, use these log jams to our advantage. Typically those flatheads are like getting up in there. So we're gonna try to put one right here and kind of dangle it right at the beginning. That way when nightfall hits, they kind of come cruising out. That's what I like to do usually because you're not throwing in all those sticks and stuff and getting tangled. I like to do right on the outskirts. That way just, it's a lot easier, a lot cleaner. You don't have to deal with the big mess, getting snagged and stuff. It just seems to work a lot better, so. We're gonna get these out and we're actually using an eight ounce weight typically i use railroad ties something like that but eight ounce weight as you can see there's quite a bit of current right here I'm gonna flip it right up under here so it kind of stops just shy of it and hopefully pull out some big old catfish get a nice big old bullhead also using eight odd hooks if you guys are wondering hooking them right up under the mouth get both sides of their mouth doesn't hurt them doesn't kill them as you can see real free and they're squirmy that's what attracts the catfish Oh yeah, that's money, that's money. See it kind of drifted right down in there, not dealing with all the snags. Hopefully they come out of there cruising. Boom, we get some catfish. Let's go set some more. all we're doing right now is setting them all out kind of teaching you guys how we're setting them out and stuff we're looking for these big kind of cutbacks the deep areas and a lot of these kind of like timber patches like this those flatheads and stuff love to sit up under there that's our goal today catch him one of these big flatheads all right guys so just a little quick run through huge thanks to him he uh actually had me out here he saw some of my posts and stuff and he was like hey yes he we could come out do some set lining and that's what we're doing out here we made some lines already and uh I don't, you got anything to say? Just hopefully we get our first flathead for you? Hopefully. Probably set out about, I don't know, a couple more lines. Tag them all. Stay tuned. We're going to go set some more lines, wait for nightfall, and hopefully we get him his first one. I might get one. one set now it's kind of getting a little later we're gonna let these sit we're gonna come back in a few hours Woo! 
All right, so it is the next morning. We are back at the river. We actually weren't able to check them last night. Uh, what's our excuse? We had one too many beers. <laughs> Well, uh, so it's actually what about nine o'clock in the morning. We set them about seven, seven thirty last night. So typically, you want to check them every about three or four hours. We're gonna go check these. Let's go see if we have any fishies. Oh yeah, bait's gone. Oh, broke us off. Well, we had one on there. That's the first line we checked. It's been a big fish. Straight up broke our hook off. Well. That was one big fish we had. All right, 0 for 1. Got one down here. See if anything's on there. Snagged? Yeah. Damn it. Oh. Got it? Is there a fish on there still or no? Ain't pulling, but I don't think so. Oh, bullhead's dead. Something probably had that bullhead because the hook's like back through his under lip. So a fish probably had him and messed him around and he got double hooked within himself. That's what I would think. Well, we're 0 for 2. Anything? Nothing? Damn. Broke off. Must be some big fish in here. So they constantly pull and pull and pull. That line could slip too. Well, we're 0 for 3 with two broken off. It's overnight if they're sitting there and they're 20, 30, 40 pound fish, they can just pull it right off. I mean, constant pull and pull and pull. That's why typically I like to go every about three hours or so, especially at night. It's a nice day out, a little bit windy, but be a good day to fish. Well, hopefully we get one on this one or the next few ones. Hopefully they're not all broke. Anything? Nothing again. Wow untouched that's insane all right 0 for 4 coming up on number five here i nah, just stripped dang that's the hard part about using bluegill but and they can pick them off easier than bullhead 0 for 5 number six right right here t-bar looks like you have one it's way in the water oh one's real low in the water fish Maybe. Oh. Yeah. oh that's a good one oh <laughs> all right a blue or big channel um can't even see him yet that's on the bullhead too Woo. well we got one man got one. <laughs> Woo. our first fish pretty long channel well got you your catfish you wish for on the set line <laughs> now let's go see if we can get a flathead <laughs> this one had something at one point it's buried in there got one nope Broke off, damn. All right, let's go check the others. We're at number seven. Doesn't look promising. Nothing? Probably broke off. Yep, broke off again. All right, well, we got two over here. This was just a little bullhead. Oh, stick. Something. Oh, we got a stick, and then this one was the one with the shad on it. This was in that deep hole. Hopefully it's a big blue. Nothing? Oh, yeah. Going? Oh, it is a big blue. Shit, let me get the net. Woo. Oh, he's barely hooked. Got him? Dude, that is a long fish, but he's not very fat. That's a nice blue. That's a long, skinny fish. That was funny. I was like, hopefully there's a big blue on here. Sure enough. Oh, that shad worked. I figured if anything would hit it, it'd be a big blue. Sure enough, big blue. Got it. There we go. It's a pretty big one. Real long, real skinny. That ain't a typical river fish, though. That's a nice fish. Congrats, man. Well, that was line number 10. Didn't get to your flathead. We probably had him on. He was probably broke off, but you know Can't what? Can't complain, yeah. Let's we'll have to come back again. And we will be back here. We are gonna do more fishing like this, more river fishing. We still gotta give him his flathead. We got him his blue. We got him his channel. Flathead's next. Hit that subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Later. time i think uh, as far as i can remember that's my first river blue i've ever pulled out so then we got plenty of good spots to hit in the future so i'm excited we had one thing to give to you guys make sure and check them frequently the longer you leave it out the more tension it gets the more afraid the line can get with the sticks and stuff in the river that's our one thing to say for you guys make sure to check them frequently have good bait hit the river keep fishing and uh hit that subscribe button catch you later